Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It feels like a while since I've done a proper video um, and put it up on YouTube. It's just been a bit chaos over the last few weeks. I've actually filmed loads of diary of a detailed entrepreneur episodes, but things have just been a bit manic. There's always something changing, there's always something going on. Um, I haven't always been able to film everything, so the videos wouldn't end up being um, that good. So I've been pulling my hair out a little bit over the video side of it recently, just because I've been trying to get the videos done, um, but I'm just trying to figure out the best way to manage it and time it. Um, I spoke before about hopefully looking at getting someone else on and probably what I'll end up doing is have to get like an apprentice videographer and editor to come in, follow me around for the week and do it like that. I think that's the only way um, it can really happen because I can't film and do the work at the same time. So, but we'll go into that in another video. Today I'm actually cleaning the van. I've come in this morning because I've got a collection on another car that's outside and my van needs desperate clean. We've had a lot of crap weather recently. Um, so my van is feeling it a little bit and every time my van is dirty, I don't know about anyone else with their cars or vans or whatever, any time it's dirty it start, I start to lose um, love for it and that's the time where I start to think, do I sell this and get something else? But then as soon as I clean it, I fall back in love with it again. So I need to clean the van because it's absolutely hanging. Obviously we've got the shop, we've got all these products, um, so let's see what we can use on the van today. So we've got all these products to use, so let's see what we can use on the detailing van today. So we've got Enzo, Valet Pro, Poor Boys World, we've got some Auto Bright stuff, um, we've got some Sam stuff. Hang on a minute, what's this? So we also have some doozy car care stuff. This stuff's been sitting around for a while and I keep meaning to use it on the van and I keep meaning to use it in a video. So I think today is the best chance we got to use the new doozy car care range on my detailing van. So, some of you might have heard of the Doozy Car Care range. Um, it is relatively new, so actually a customer of mine throughout the last year or so has um, launched their own detailing car care range, obviously, which is Doozy Car Care. So they're quite enthusiastic about detailing valeting, um, and they've always been interested in it, I think. And uh, basically what they've done throughout, uh, probably throughout lockdown last year, is create their own detailing range. Probably just wanted to create something else on the market um, that they felt like that was missing and they've created 10 products um, to their range of doozy car care. So we'll go into doozy car care in a little bit more detail and we'll use the products on the van to see what they're really like. So here we have the full doozy car care range, ranging from wheel cleaners, pre-wash, um, quick detailing sprays, rinse sealants, waterless wash etc. So I just want to thank Dan Quick at Doozy Car Care for dropping me these products and sorry it's been so long since I've been able to get some content out um, but he actually dropped me off these products to see what I thought and then hopefully if all good we can look at stocking them as well in our detailing shop um, so you can purchase them through our website or through our walk-in online store. So I haven't put these in order um, but first impressions of the Doozy Car Care range with the branding it actually looks really nice. It's nice that the font matches the colour of the product so obviously green citrus green product obviously blue azure blue product um i'm so it, the packaging is actually really nice um it all looks it all looks really smart on each product obviously you've got the name of what it is the website where to get the those items then on the back um, you've got all the directions there, so you've got all the directions and um, exactly what it's used for. Um, just so if you are new to it and you're not too sure, you've got all that information to hand. So we've not got much, too much on that side, a little bit about the health and safety. Obviously if you're looking for the MDS um, information, it says there to contact Doozy. So the MDS is all to do with the health and safety of the product, what to do in case of emergency, etc. So. So really well branded product I think. If you sort of compare it to the poor boy stuff, a lot of people do love the poor boy stuff but the branding's sort of a bit out of date compared to the Doozy Car Care range. So yeah, it actually looks really smart and it should look really nice on the shelves at our unit as well. So like I said we've got 10 products in the range. So we've got waterless wash, tyre and trim gel, ceramic quick detailer, snow foam, all in one polish, iron fallout, pre-wash, spray wax, pH neutral shampoo and a hydrophobic rinse sealant. Um, nothing for interior, they might actually have um, stuff from interior but I was actually obviously given these by Dan um, so I'll have to double check to see if they've got any interior products so that'll just be like an interior detailer, maybe a fabric cleaner. But like I say this is a new product range so obviously it's probably all still very new. He was looking to get some ideas of different range of products 
um, that you could launch in the range as well. So maybe interior stuff and all the accessories will come at a later point. Whilst Dan was dropping off, he did mention stuff about drying towels and all that sort of stuff. So um, I think they're going to be launching all that stuff very soon. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to waffle on too much because I'll probably appreciate that you want to see the products in action, see what they're really like um, and see what they like to use for the general enthusiast. So I'm using all the 500ml products. I think they are going to be doing 5 litre products as well, so if you're interested in all that, speak to Dan at Doozy Car Care and he'll get it all sorted. We'll quickly go to the name actually, so the name Doozy was quite interesting, I didn't actually know what it meant, but I actually searched it up and it means something good or outstanding, so they've nailed that with the name um, because obviously it's actually got some meaning to it rather than just being made up. And before you start questioning, my name's not made up, it actually means something. So yeah, let's crack on, see what these products are like um, and get my van clean at the same time. Right, so I'm ready to clean the van now. I've got all the products up there. I've just dropped the rubber and trimming gel and it snapped the um, snapped the lid. But luckily Dan dropped off a couple of lids as well, so I've got some extras for that. So we're gonna start off just filling up the products, seeing what we need first. Obviously we need the shampoo and the pre-wash products first. So we'll be using the Bellini pH neutral shampoo. Bellini is like a, a peach or, or something like that. So if you do smell this, obviously you can't smell it through the through the camera, but yeah, it has actually got that sort of peach fragrance smell, um, and obviously it's the same sort of colour. So we'll be using Bellini um, in the bucket. So it says on the side there, um, Bellini is a highly concentrated pH neutral shampoo, which is wax and sealant safe. So it's completely safe to use if you've got a wax in your car, it won't strip that, um, or any coatings or anything like that. So exactly what you want in a shampoo, um, well lubricated, so it's just going to glide across the paint. Um, and obviously it's safe to use on your wax or ceramic coated vehicles. It says, once you've completed the pre-wash stage, simply add 25 to 30 ml to a 20 litre bucket. So these are about a 16 litre bucket, um, so it's up to you to depend how much you need. I always like to put a little bit more shampoo in, just so there's a bit more suds, which makes cleaning it a lot more easier, but it depends on what you want to do. You can always just stick to, the, stick to what it says on the bottle, which is always recommended, but I sometimes like to add a little bit more. We put in some of the wheel bucket as well, because it's always good to have some shampoo in the wheel bucket. Shampoo, obviously exactly what you expect it. Put the um, Ricardo amount you need into the bucket. Obviously, have a, a three buckets ideally, one for the wash, one for the rinse, and one for the wheels. With any of these products, we won't go through every single one um, and how to use it, because um, all, the, all the information is self-explanatory, and I'm sure if you were needing to know exactly how to use it, you want to be sure, give Dan a doozy car care um, a message. So, so here we have, excuse the mess, excuse the state of the jug, but here we have a jug with 40 mils of, um, of shampoo. I know that's slightly more, so it says on the side to use 25 to 30 mil, but we'll see how much, um, how many capsules is for 40 mil, just so you can get an idea of um, how much that is. So if we pour it in, So, using the jug for about 40 mils, it's about two capsules of, there's still a little bit left because I just want to use a little bit less, so we had about 30 mil. Um, but say 30 mil is probably about two capfuls of shampoo. So if you're not too sure and you don't want to get the measuring jug out every time, use two capfuls to put in your bucket. So we'll see what that's like. I haven't put in any more, um, but we'll see if I do need to use any more or if around about sort of 30, 35 mil does the job um, for there to be enough suds and enough slickness to safely wash this car. Obviously we also need snow foam, so we'll put that one up there. So we also need snow foam, it says on a snow foam to use for, it actually gives you a recommended dilution ratio of three different types of, um, three different types of snow foam, or three different types of thickness of snow foam. So you've got a thin foam blanket, a thick foam blanket, and an extra thick foam blanket. The thin foam blankets is 55 mils, for the thick foam blankets 80 mils or some extra thick foam blanket will go 100 mil and that's to 900 mils of cold water. So this is a litre bottle, I'm pretty sure. So what I'll do, we'll create the extra thick foam, we'll use 100 mils of this in that and then we'll see how thick it really is and we'll see what the cleaning power really is as well because sometimes thick snow foams, they look great for photos but they're not actually that good in terms of cleaning power. Um, so we'll see what that's like. What I'm also going to do as well before I forget, I'm going to put a capful of this in the wheel bucket and a capful of this in the rinse bucket um, just so there's some shampoo in there as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll 
I'll put some footage over this. The buckets are foamed up really well, and that's just with the recommended amount, so maybe we won't need to use any more. Um, obviously, that should be enough. So I'll put some footage over this. It's foamed up really, really well. Got the snow foam, 900ml water to 100ml of um, snow foam, and all the pre wash and stuff like that is already pre diluted. Um, so you can use all the other stuff um, exactly how it is. So what we'll do now, we'll crack on the clean. So we'll start off with the wheels using the iron and fall out, and then we'll go around it with the pre-wash, um, and then snow foam buckets, and we'll carry on like that. So um, my van's not too bad, so we won't go too mad with it, but it's just a general video showing you what the Doozy Car Care Ranger products are like. All right, so I'm about to crack on with the clean on the van. I've already gone around it with a pressure washer, just to sort of loosen up any dirt that's on there, um, just to make it a bit easier to clean off. So the van's already been pre-rinsed. I'm gonna use the um, Purple Rain uh, wheel cleaner around, all around the wheels, and we'll see what that's like. Um, and we'll see how effective it is as well. So what I'll do first, we'll spray some on, we'll leave it on a minute on one wheel, we'll pressure wash it off to see how much comes off straight away with just product and, and a good pressure wash. So I've sprayed the first wheel with the iron and fallout. As you can see straight away, it's already going purple, so it's already showing that there's dirt and contaminants on there as well. So we'll leave this on there for a minute and then we'll pressure wash it off to see how much comes off. Um, the wheels are not coated or anything like that. Probably the last time it was cleaned, maybe about four weeks ago, so there's not anything too drastic on there. Um, so quite a lot of it should come off, um, so we'll see what it's like. So the first wheel has actually come up really well. Like I said, the, cake, the brake dust wasn't like caked on or anything. It's still a little bit on there, but considering what it was like, if you look at the barrels and stuff, it's definitely looking a lot better. So yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Um, we'll s obviously, I've got a wrap, so um, we can't really see what it's like in terms of filings on that um, because it's going to be quite hard to show up. But maybe we'll try on a little bit on this later as well because obviously you can use that on the paintwork as well as the wheel. So yeah, no, that's pretty good stuff. So yeah, first impressions on the purple rain is actually really good. What I do now, I'm going to go around it with the citrus pre-wash, um, which is already pre-diluted, like I said earlier. So I'm going to go around all the wrap paintwork wheels arches and the tires as well this is very looks very similar to um, the sam's detailing wheel with tire cleaner so we'll see how that compares to that as well um, but i'm literally just going to put it straight on neat um, and then what we could do we'll test a little bit we'll pressure wash it what we could do is spray some pre-wash on this we'll pressure wash it and we'll see how much comes off compared to this side as well So I'm going to leave that to soak for a minute and then I'll pressure wash this section we'll see how much comes off with just a pre-wash and pressure wash because that's when you can determine how good the pre-wash is um, and then what we'll do we'll spray it around the rest of, of the van we'll snow foam it on top just to create that extra bit of bite um, and then we'll carry on the pre-wash stage from there but yeah I'll put it on the tyres as well so what I might do is scrub a little bit of the tyres we'll see how much crap comes off of the tyres when using pre-wash on it as well so like I said I've put um, citrus pre-wash on the tyres and um, so what I'm going to do now we'll I'll scrub the tyres, now the pre-wash is on there, and we'll see how, how well the tyres come out, see how much dirt comes up um, with pre-wash on the tyres. So what I'm going to do, literally just grab a Vicam brush and we'll give them a good scrub. So as you can see there, all that brown that's coming off the tyres, that's all the dirt that's on there um, that you don't want to be on there if you're putting the tyre dressing on as well. So I'll quickly show that you that. So if you're using pre-wash, Use it on the tyres as well, because as you can see, look how dirty the tyres are. Makes a good tyre cleaner. So what I'm going to do now, we'll pressure wash this bit, and we'll see how much dirt comes off of there. Ah, that's come up lovely. If you look at this closely, and if you just literally pan on from there to there, you see all the dirt water spots and all the crap that side? So the pre-wash is actually really effective, which is really nice. The only thing with it, you'll probably end up using a lot of it because it's already um, pre-diluted. So it'd probably be like a 500, uh, probably be like a five litre jobby, just because um, I've got 500 mils to go on the whole van. So we'll probably use quite a lot of this um, just on the van really, but. Yeah, overall, that is really good. You probably could dilute it down if you wanted to because like I said, that's really effective, um, just like that. 
So as you can see there again, if you look really close, it's all the dirt marks. Boom. So I've covered the whole van in pre-wash, so I've gone around all the top, all the way down to the bottom, all the bags, um, done all the front, done the wheels, tyres, just to give that a bit of extra bite as well. Um, and then what I'm going to do is crack them on the snow foam. So like I said, I've got the snow foam there. So that's the blizzard. Um, and um, what we'll do, we'll just see what it's like. I've gone for the thickest um, blanket, which is 100 mils to 900 mils of water. Probably could have put a bit more water in that, to be fair. Um, but we'll see what this stuff's like as well. So this crack on, um, and everyone's favourite part, which is the snow foam. So the snow foam's on, this side's had a bit longer, um, normally leave about five to ten minutes. It's actually a really nice layer of foam. It's not like too thick, so it's not like shaving foam, um, but yeah, actually really nice. Smells nice, looks good. Um, got some nice shots there, snow foam in there, so I'm just going to leave it on there for a couple more minutes. And um, what I'll do, whilst the paint is, um, whilst it's sort of taking all the crap off the paint, I'm going to crack on with the wheels. So the idea of snow foam, so if you look here, you see all this sort of like dirt in the foam. The idea of snow foam, so when it sort of when it's clinging like this, it's actually dragging all that dirt down off of the paint. So you'll see like it starts to here as it sort of starts to work in, it's starting to cling to the paint and as it's running down, it just drags all of that excess dirt down. So that layer of dirt that you would have seen earlier is just dragging that off and then when it comes off here just falls onto the floor. Just makes cleaning safer, reduces the chance of inflicting these swells. Um, so yeah, we'll leave that on for a minute. We'll press wash off and we'll see what comes up with just the pre-wash stage. Right, I'm just having a much needed tea break. Um, it's a little bit chilly this morning. You can tell it's definitely starting to come into them colder winter months, which I'm not looking forward to. But wheels are done, snow foam's done, or wheels are done, pre-wash is done, snow foam's done. Snow foam was actually clinging for a while, which is really good. Um, and it's actually pressure washed off really nice as well. So obviously I can't, it's, I've only had a sort of light dirt and dust on my paint or wrap or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's come off really well. Um, it'd be interesting to see what it's like um, with a really filthy car. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what it's like against that, but I'm sure it'll compare absolutely fine. Um, so now all the snow foam's off. Like I said, I'm just having a tea break, just warm myself up a bit. Um, I'm just going to go around it with a shampoo, so the two bucket method, um, and so we'll see how nice that is as well. But um, yeah, vans are looking really nice so far, so far good, so good on the doozy car care range. Right, so I've got the two buckets, got the wash and the rinse, um, both are shampooing. So yeah, let's crack on and see what it's like. Really? Just literally rinsed it out and got my foot soaked, so that's annoying. So now my feet are going to be wet for the rest of the day. seems to glide really well, um, which is good. So it's not like sort of, you're not battling with the paint as such. Obviously you need a decent wash mitt as well, but um, yeah, there's a good amount of lubrication to make it glide really well. So yeah, so far so good. Seems to clean up, to clean up um, quite nicely as well. So yeah, the Bellini shampoo, really nice to use. I probably could, could be a little bit more sudsier, but other than that, it seems to be all right. It's starting to dip in the more suds um, there is, so it's probably just where um, it's been sat for a little bit and it's sort of settled. As you can see now, there's a lot more suds, so I think it's just where I've done the um, shampoo this morning. So it's always good to sort of crash wash in again just to create them suds again because it does sort of settle a bit. So we'll go straight in. 
Obviously, I can't really rinse it out properly because I've only got one pair of hands. But I think what's happened earlier was because I've done this this morning, um, the shampoo was sort of settling a bit. So maybe just pressure wash in again if you do leave it to settle. Because obviously, I've been about an hour and a half since I last done this. Um, but yeah, just work in the shampoo and the snow foam, and you'll find it's a decent amount of suds. Work in nice straight lines as well, just cleans up a lot easier. But as you can see there, there's a nice amount of suds and it feels really smooth on the paint. And it's getting nice and glossy as well. Well, so I'll carry on doing this around the rest of the van um, and then we'll look at using some of the hydrophobic rinse sealants um, and some of the spray waxes in quick detail as well, just seeing how they compare. Right, so now all the washing stages are complete. We've got a couple of different choices to use now. So we've got the hydrophobic rinse sealant, ceramic quick detail air spray wax. Obviously these ideally you do when they're dry but you probably could use them um, as a bit of a sort of a maintenance spray as well but for this we're going to use the hydrophobic rinse sealant which is basically like um, uh, a quick easy way of um, creating some nice beading on the car a nice little bit of protection and makes drying it a lot easier so this stuff you actually apply whilst the car's wet just before you dry it with a drying towel basically make sure the cars or the paintwork's wet um, spray all this on and then it will bead straight away which makes drying easier and you, then you do have that little bit of protection as well so I'll quickly show you it I have done a little bit on here um, as you can see there's some nice little bits of beading I'll show you it on the back quick so if you've got the back as you press the wash you see it just sheets the water just drags on the back there's no beading whatsoever so that's where this comes into play spray all over just get an even coverage you see instantly the water starting to separate and bead up that's what you want And now the water's just beading straight away. See that? So the water is just beading, it's not sticking to the paint, which will keep it cleaner for longer and easier to clean because no dirt um, is going to stick and it'll make drying a lot easier because obviously the water's separating, so more water will fall off um, rather than sticking to the paintwork, so it'll save your drying towels as well. with that make sure the whole paint mug wrap whatever you've got um, is fully wet spray all over press wash straight away um, obviously don't do it in the direct sunlight and then you'll get that instant bead and finish like I said less water will stick to the car makes drying a lot easier saves your drying towels um, because more water will be repelling and dropping off so I'm going to do the whole van with that um, and then we're nearly finished with um, what we can do today using the doozy car care range right excuse the drying towels and etc but the van is nearly done it's all been washed um, dried off it's a couple of little um, water droplets and stuff just because I've got to man it with a blow dryer I've dried off all the tyres as well they'll actually look really clean so what I'm going to do now is just go around this with probably what, should, what do you reckon or should I do a little bit of both I'll use both I'll use ceramic quick detailer and I'll use spray wax just to see what they're like um, but it doesn't need too much protection really but it's just something to go around it we've also got they glint all in one polish. Um, I'll do a little area up with this, but I'm not going to do the whole van just because it's a Sunday and it's a big van and I can't be asked to polish it. But we'll, I'll, we'll do a little area just so you can um, just so you can see what it's like basically. So just looking on the back of these, the spray wax lasts up to four weeks and the quick detailer um, lasts up to three months. So um, you're probably better off just buying the ceramic quick detailer um, just because of that. Um, finish that it provides obviously it's a bit more durable um, and it probably gives you equal amount of shine but different people like different things but um, we'll go for the ceramic quick detailer today but just so you get an idea the spray works last up to four weeks and the quick detailer ceramic quick detailer gets up to four and um, three months worth of protection choosing the quick detailer it actually smells really nice what I'm doing is spraying onto a cloth um, and just wiping straight onto the paintwork so it buffs off quite well doesn't really leave any marks 
And what you can what you can do if it does, is just fold that cloth and then just wipe back over. It's got a really nice smell to it, and it's bringing the wrap up really nice. So really happy with that so far. Obviously, it's got the hydrophobic rinse sealant on as well, so it's got a little bit of protection on. Um, but this is just providing that extra little bit. What you could do, if you're a little bit worried about protection and stuff, you could just dry it normally and then put this as the base coat um, just so you've got that directly on, onto the paint. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to crack straight on. Onto the tyres now. The paintwork's come up really nice. All the wrap, should I say, has come up really nice. Really nice and easy to use. No smearing. Um, exactly what you expect from a quick detailer. So we'll see how that lasts over the, over the time. It should be about three months worth of protection, which is really good. Onto the tyres now, obviously make sure your tyres are really dry, obviously they've got their relish and make sure you use the trim as well. Um, so obviously grab your tyre applicator and just work into the tyre. As I said it's uh, hydrophobic as well so we'll spray the tyres after and we'll see if the water beads up. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how long the tyre dressing lasts um, and if there's any slim. So obviously apply your tyre dressing however you like. So I'll quickly show you the tyres. So it's got a nice, real nice glossy result. What it says on the um, bottle actually, if you want sort of more satin finish, leave it five minutes and then just wipe over with a cloth. Um, but as you can see there, they're looking spot on with that tyre dressing. So if you compare it to the front, obviously that's the normal untouched. And then that there. Well, it also says that it's got hydrophobic properties. Pressure washer's not actually on, but I'll just put some water in it and see if it does bead up. So as you can see there, it is actually repelling the water, which is cool. So it is actually beading right up, which is cool, which will mean that hopefully this would last a bit longer because it's got that sort of resistant barrier on it. So that's the van now all done, it's all complete, all cleaned and it looks absolutely mint. Really happy with all the doozy car care range. I haven't used that absolutely everything, so I haven't used the polish, the spray wax or the waterless wash, but I've used most products just to give you an idea of what the doozy car care range is like, um, how to use a couple of them um, and then just the sort of result that they give, just so it gives you an idea of exactly what they're like if you're interested in buying them. We're probably going to end up looking at stocking them in our shop, so we'll have a bit of a range here where you can use online and um, come down and walk in. But for now, obviously give Doozy Car Care a shout on Instagram if you want to order any bits. Check out their website to order these. I'll show you the van just so you can see the result that we've got. So this is what I've used, their ceramic quick detailer. Obviously use all their pre-wash, their snow foam, um, their hydrophobic rinse sealant. Also their tyre dressing. Um, they haven't got a glass cleaner or interior bits, but um, or they might have. Um, but the bits that I've got today, I haven't got that with, but it's looking absolutely mint. So I'm really happy with it. That door there's annoying. But yeah, as you can see, it looks so good. Nice. So really happy with the Doozy Car Care range. But like I say, go check them out on Instagram. Go check out their website if you're looking at ordering a couple of bits. And hopefully soon um, we'll be looking at stocking their stuff as well. And maybe even get some of their five litre stuff if they get that current come in. Obviously it's not like a proper review video. It's just sort of an idea. It gave me them to use. So I thought the best that I could do is create a bit of a video out of it. See what they're like and give my honest opinion as well and I hope that's come across quite well and it gave you a bit of an idea of what these products are like. I don't really massively do any product review type stuff, um, but it's good to have a couple of bits just to try out. Sometimes you just stick with what you know and use what you have, um, but it's nice to try a few more bits and bobs. So if there's any other brands that you'd like me to sort of do a video on, then please obviously do give me a shout. I'll leave all Doozy Car Care's information down below just so you can check them out. And all the links to my socials and my online shop will be down, down below as well. So I hope you like that little video. Hope you like the results of the van. Please do make sure you like this video. Please do make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Check out all of our social medias. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Ciao.